What's up guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make custom items in Fallout Creative. An example could be a custom slurp juice or a damage amplifier item. So let's just get straight into the video. So first what you're going to want to do is go to your devices and you're going to need to get a signal remote manager. So the, basically the mechanic is you want to get the signal remote manager and when you press that you're going to link that to a device that has an effect on a player. So an example could be a damage amplifier or a health power. Next what you want to do is go to your weapons and get the signal remote um, item. Now you can get the gold one, the purple one, the blue one or the green one. Now you are limited to four types as there is no grey one. But yeah. Next what you want to do is place down your signal remote manager and get the signal remote you want and drop it into it. Then you want to go into the settings and you're going to want to put the cooldown time to however often you want the player to activate the device. So I've done two minutes and I put on primary activation transfer on any three channels so I've got channel two for this and also I put the secondary one so people might do it on the secondary instead of the primary for some reason but yeah next you want to get a device that this is going to transmit on so for me I'm going to do a damage amplifier power up which means they're going to do more damage if they press that button so damage multiplier put 1.5 effect duration 10 seconds time to respawn instant ambient audio off pickup audio off you'll see this power up none and pick up and receive from the same channel now you don't have to do those settings I've just given an example and you want to link it to the same channel and then for this one I just put cooldown time 1 minute and on primary activation transfer 1 a, a different 3 channel so I go on channel 4 and you can also put it on the secondary activation for whatever reason they do the secondary instead of the primary and then you want to get another device I've gone with the health power up so I'm just going to modify both effect magnitude 10 effect duration 5 seconds time to respawn instant ambient audio off pick up audio off You'll see this power up none and pick up and receive from the same channel. So for me, it's channel 4. So this is kind of like a slurp juice. So you get health increased like a few ticks for every second. Uh, again, that was only an example, so you don't have to copy all my sayings. So now, let's start the game, test it out. So you're going to want to get the items in your inventory and as you can see I'm doing dealing normal damage at the moment if I press the damage amplifier one now I have a damage amplifier for 10 seconds at 1.5 times damage so now I'm dealing more damage and then it goes away and you can see I still have two minutes wait time then for the health one if I press the health one as you can see I'm gaining health 10 10 health every second for five seconds and then also I've got a one minute cooldown time for the health power up Obviously guys, you can do this with may, way more other devices like the class selector and class designer. This is just an example video and it is more harder to do it with those as you'll have to set a cooldown time. With like timers and stuff and it's just a little bit more complicated. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more Fortnite creative videos just like this. Check out one of these videos on screen now. Thanks for watching the video guys, peace.